Did you know that in Monsters Inc? While Mr. Waternose is taking a break, there are normal cups, big cups, and little cups. That's because monsters aren't in the same size so they need different cups. Great attention to detail by Pixar. Did you know that in Big Hero 6? The cop that helps Hero is called Gerson. He was named after his voice actor, Daniel Gerson the co-writer of the movie. Did you catch this in Transformers, Dark of the Moon? When Sentinel Prime was about to kill Prime, you can see that Sentinel aim his sword to Optimus' head instead of his spark located to his chest. It's because he knows that Optimus has the Matrix and it will make it useless if he stab Optimus in the chest, just like what Lockdown did in Transformers Age of Extinction. Did you catch this in Transformers Age of Extinction? In a scene from Transformers, Age of Extinction, where Optimus and B hit the truck, did you notice the two people in the front seat? Well, that guy in the white t-shirt is none other than Michael Bay himself. It was confirmed by the talented director himself. Did you catch this in the first Transformers movie? When Sam meets Optimus for the first time, we can actually see Optimus Prime smile at Sam and Michaela. In the whole Bayformers timeline this is actually the first and last time, that we saw Optimus Prime smiling. The reason of this smile is to make sure that Sam will not freak out, and to show them that he is not a threat. Did you know that in Cars? When Mater is talking to Doc, we can see that the clouds are shaped like tire tracks. Did you notice this in Transformers, Dark of the Moon? When Sam was about to say goodbye to Bumblebee, when they are talking you can actually see Ratchet talking at Optimus Prime in the back. That's actually the part when Ratchet tells Optimus that he sensed Starscream is already in position to attack them. Because as we all know Ratchet has the special ability to sense a danger. Did you know that in Big Hero 6? In one of the scenes you can see a girl talking to three men, those men are John Lasseter head of Pixar, Steve Jobs the creator of Apple and Andrew Milstein head of Walt Disney Studios catch this in Monsters Inc? One small detail goes largely unchecked by most audience members. The sock that Mike throws at the CDA was Boo's sock, which is why she walks around with one bare foot for the rest of the movie. Did you know that in Monsters Incorporated? When Mike and Sully walk past the grocery store, if you zoom in you can see some spooky details. Did you know that in Toy Story 2? Rex reads a How to Defeat Zerg book that costs $4.95 in US, $50 in Canada this is a joke at Canadians the price should be about $7. Did you know that in Megamind? The only things you can read from the newspaper are the headlines, all the small print are random keyboard inputs. Did you know that in Cars? In the race scene you can find an Apple car, who is named the Mac I car. Did you know that in Coco? On the last frame in post credits, the creators honored their loved ones who have passed away. Did you know that in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Miles writes Decembrary on his test for the date, which shows his dedication for getting a failing grade. Did you know that, in Transformers Age of Extinction, when Ratchet was caught by Cemetery Wind, you can see that Ratchet tried to defend himself when humans start attacking him, but did you know that there are no humans were killed when Ratchet is firing back, it is because he was intentionally misses his shot just to scare the humans away, because he's still holding the order of his leader Optimus Prime, that they should never hurt humans. Did you catch this in Transformers Dark of the Moon? When Soundwave was about to execute Bumblebee, we can see that Barricade simply looked away, it shows that he doesn't want to see Bumblebee brutally killed, because as can remember in the first Transformers movie Bumblebee spared his life. Did you know that in Big Hero 6? Yama has the Japanese symbol for Yama meaning mountain on the back of his shirt. Did you know that in Finding Nemo? In one of the scenes we can see that the dentist attended the Pixar University School of Dentistry, which is a very cool easter egg. Did you know that in Inside Out? When Rayleigh is running away, we can see in a 113 easter egg. Did you catch this in Big Hero 6? Hero takes a dive and gets wedged between his desk and his bed. Looking up at Baymax, there's a secret easter egg painted on the ceiling. It's Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Did you see this in Iron Man 2? Look closely at Happy's boxing gloves. See the small white circle at the palms? They're a fun little design flourish meant to call to mind the actual repulsors on Iron Man's armor. Did you catch this in Spider-Man? Homecoming? When Spider-Man runs into a group of thugs stealing from an ATM while poorly dressed in Avengers masks, there's a sign in the background warning about something very appropriate, identity theft. Did you know that in Zootopia? There is a scene where viewers can see a map with photos on it. In the photo on the right part of the map, there is a sad wolf that sits in the park and eats a sandwich. This is a joke of a popular photo of Keanu Reeves. Did you know this about Wreck-It Ralph? During the meeting of Bat and On, where famous villains like Bowser and Dr. Robotnik get together, there's one character there who doesn't quite belong. Despite not being a villain, Zongi from Street Fighter attends the meeting. 
This is because the film's writer said that as a kid he could never beat him, and so he thought Zongief would feel bad for all the players who could never beat him. Did you know that in Zootopia? The film originally revolved around Nick Wilde but audiences said they had a hard time connecting with him emotionally, but were drawn to Judy Hopps more so Disney changed the entire story. You missed this in 1917? Look closely at these three soldiers and you might notice something strange about them they aren't carrying any weapons. That's because these aren't actually soldiers, or even extras in the film at all. They're members of the camera crew who had to move equipment during the shot and were dressed like soldiers in order to blend in. Did you see this in Monsters Incorporated? Patient viewers who watched through the credits will have caught one final joke. Near the end of the credits, the words no monsters were harmed in the making of this motion picture can be seen. Did you know that in Moana? You can see Flounder from The Little Mermaid in one of the songs. You missed this in The Incredible Hulk. In a deleted scene from the film, if you look closely you can see a truly amazing cameo when Hulk starts. Smashing the ice. Did you catch who it was? It's Captain America, in what was meant to be an easter egg for future films before the studio decided to take Cap's story in a different direction. Did you know that in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse? The comic books that introduce the main characters have the actual creators of the Spider-Man as authors. Did you notice this in Wally? After Eve blows up all the by and large tanker ships, she says a few things to Wally in what sounds like gibberish before. She says directive turns out she's not speaking gibberish at all, but saying directive over and over while cycling through human languages, to see which one Wally understands. We hear her speak German, Japanese, then Swahili. Did you know that in Zootopia? When Nick is explaining that they have 10 hours left he holds up his fingers, foxes don't have 10 fingers they only have 8, the fun part is that Judy catches his mistake but ignores it. Did you catch this detail in Transformers, Dark of the Moon? When the Autobots arrive in Chicago, look closely at Wheeljack in the back. You can see his slow transformation, which indicates his old age character. This is proof that the producers did a great job paying attention to detail. Did you spot this in The Good Dinosaur? When a gopher takes a chomp out of Arlo and they both tumble back into the water, pause as soon as you can see the ground. Look down to the left and you'll find a familiar character Hank the Octopus. From Finding Dory. 